Oh, major pest controllers say bed bug infestations could be 30% worse than the usual post-holiday season peak this year. Numbers are already unusually high so far, and they are blaming more travel and the reopening of borders. Oh, this comes at a time when bed bug bedlam has been plaguing parts of Europe and now even South Korea. Just looking at them is enough to make your skin crawl. They lurk in dark spots, hide in mattresses, and feast on your blood when you least expect it. Their eggs look like rice grains, and before you know it, the whole room is overrun by bed bugs. The creepy crawlies are now infamous after waves of infestations in Europe. Major pest controllers say no country is safe from the six-legged threat. This is a global resurgence and we should be wary of wherever we are travelling to, to any parts of the world. So um, personal hygiene is a very important factor, so we just have to keep a lookout to places that we travel, especially in hotel rooms and the things that we are going to bring back from overseas. Big bugs are excellent hitchhikers. Over the past two months, infestation cases have jumped around 40%. The firm says it is prepared for more outbreaks after a similar surge in 2014. And when this holiday season is over, things could get worse than before. The firm has a stockpile of chemicals that last about six months, despite it now being 20% more expensive because of inflation. Another company is also busy with a 15% jump in cases and inspections over the past six months. So far, almost all happen in homes. Sometimes, heat is also used to kill the bugs. Either way, it normally takes up to two visits within a week to get rid of the pests completely. More severe cases can take up to a month. The firm is also switching up chemicals more frequently so that these unwelcome guests don't become immune. But ultimately, to win this battle, people need to know the enemy. I do think that there's room for improvement, uh, especially with the basic awareness of bed bugs to be um, as, compar as comparable to you know, vectors like mosquitoes. Because as you know, you know, mosquitoes, everybody knows a lot about them. So I think there's still room for improvement comparatively with pests like bed bugs. La. And I think um, it should be the way that we, you know, educate our public on all these things. Pest Busters is conducting more training sessions for major hotel chains to learn how to spot bed bugs more quickly. Meanwhile, bug exterminators are warning the public not to think that bed bugs only infest beds. They could be anywhere. And homeowners should look out for hiding posts such as wardrobes and crevices inside switches. And for more on the behaviour of these bugs and I suppose more importantly how we can uh, adjust our ways so that we can deal with them, we're joined by Rachel Key, head entomologist from pest control company Verminator. Mm -hmm. Ms. Key, uh, very quickly, now we saw those pictures mm -hmm. that my colleague filmed of, of bed bug infestation. Realistically, uh, if I don't see that, that does not mean that I do not have bed bugs and their eggs in my mattress. I mean, just is that the extreme case? Yes. What we saw. Yeah. Okay. So, so what should we be looking out for if I'm checking for bed bugs? Okay. Normally, you will see the presence of bed bugs, maybe the adults, uh, and also their cast skins, the skins that they change after molding, and also their fecal spots like black spots, as well as the blood stains as well. Yeah. Correct. With bed bugs. You, I'm assuming as well that you may have uh, noticed a, an increase in being bitten. You know, if they, if you really do have an infestation at home, yes, right? yes, yes. So people who live at home, they'll be bitten. Uh, Bedbugs aren't new in Singapore. Is this really something that we should be concerned about? Yes, correct. Uh, because uh, different people may react differently. Some people, after they get bitten, they won't have any reaction, but some they will have an uh, allergic reaction. After that, maybe you go and scratch it, and then you will have secondary infection. Okay, yeah. so it doesn't carry a disease per se, yeah. but just from the scratching and so on, you might introduce yes. pathogens. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right, uh, you're an entomologist. Yes. Uh, we didn't, uh, it, I suppose, you, did you study this? Uh, yes, okay, we studied right. So, is there anything particular to bed bugs that make them more likely to be resistant 
to chemicals than, say, for example, cockroaches or mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if that is so, does that change how we should be addressing for a company like yours how to exterminate bed bugs? Okay. Uh, it is reported that uh, bed bugs are resistant to certain classes of insecticides. So normally we will recommend to use steaming treatment as uh, to to how to say to avoid mm. insecticide resistance. Yeah. So steaming we don't use chemical. It is eco friendly. So somehow it can kill all the life stages of bed bugs, including eggs. Yeah. Right, Miss Key. When it comes to pest control solutions. Apparently, they're, you know, the way that the bed bug behaves mm -hmm. uh, might lead us to some solutions as well, how to control them. Can you share more about that? Okay. Uh, we know that bed bugs, they are um, flat. They have flat, flat body, so they, can, they are good in hiding in those cracks and crevices. So we have to target more on those places. We inspect, we know where to inspect and also we have to know where to treat. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so basically... It, they're hiding. They're good at hiding. Yes, yes, correct. But the other factor that we are uh, that we say is causing this rise is, mm -hmm. is travel. Yes. So uh, if you could give us a realistic guide, if you're traveling, is there anything you can do to stop them coming back or having brought them back when you get home to somehow fumigate yourself so that you do not introduce them permanently into your home? Okay. Normally, I would recommend you to like do a simple inspection first bef uh, before you unpack your things in the maybe hotels. Yeah, so you can check all those seams and folds of the mattresses, sofa and some furnitures yeah, to check whether there is, there, is there any presence of web bugs. After that, uh, when you come back from a trip, before you unpack the luggage, you check your luggage first. And then uh, when you unpack your luggage, you bring your clothes straight away into your washing machine to hot wash and also heat dry it yeah. Yeah, to kill them. Just a, one quick final question for you, Ms. Key. If you have animals at home, and mm -hmm. many of us do, uh, will bed bugs or a bed bug infestation impact them in any way, birds included? Um, they mostly infest uh, human. They, they, they like to suck human blood. Oh, yeah. okay. So fleas and ticks, be careful for the animals and bed bugs more for the human beings. Yes, correct. There's a lot, a lot of challenges. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of your advice. Thank you. Rachel Key, head Thank you. entomologist <laughs> from Verminator. Verminator, yes.